Where are you going? I want to be friends. I just want to be friends, guys. Why are you leaving me? Let's see. So I got the day to myself, guys. I've already been out here for two hours paddling around fishing. I caught one little perch. If it was uh, anything bigger than it was, I would have showed it on camera, but it definitely wasn't worth it. Um, just paddling around this uh, Pesh Island in the middle of the Detroit River. So I'm just going to head into the island now, into the interior of it. I can actually paddle right into the interior because there's a bunch of inlets. It's actually really cool. Um, it used to be an old, it used to be Hiram Walker's old house on the island here, and there's been a curse on the island ever since. So nothing has prospered on the island. No uh, structures or anything like that. But watch when we get in here. You guys are going to be blown away. This is so cool. Got to go in here under this bridge. This old cement bridge. It's a different story back in here. Tons of shade. Nice and cool. Very cool spot. You gotta check out this water. This is Detroit River water, remember. See how clear that is? Super clear. It seems like nobody's here. In the summertime, this area is pretty popular just because it's so cool. You can do things here, like have a fire, but you can't do that normally. Uh, collect wouldn't have a fire. You can't do that in my county at all, but here you can. Fishing, just relaxing. There's old, some old ruins too. Uh, an old uh, house ruins, a uh, Hiram Walker he used to be a, he used to rum run back with El Capone back in the days, uh, Prohibition. So he had a house on the on the island here, a mansion. We can go check that out. Let's go do that. Check out the ruins. This island has some very big trees on it. This is just cottonwood. But look at the branches, or look at the, the shoots. You've got one, two, three, four, five. That's all, sorry, you can't see. One, two, three, four, five. Um, that's all one tree, really. It's all the same, same root base. So imagine that wasn't different shoots. Imagine that was one tree. She's a big one. There's the ruins back in here. In the plane. So, this is the remains of the house. There was like servants' quarters and everything. Um, if you look over here, I think it says 1915 on it. See right there? I'm sure that says 1915. That's pretty old regardless. Of course, people have spray painted on it and stuff, ruined it, but still pretty cool. And there's more, we'll go check out more. There used to be a geocache down in here. Oh, it's gone. Somebody must have taken it. Down in the basement of it. I wonder if I could jump this from there to there. Let's see. Well, that was about as anticlimactic as it gets. I'll go explore some more. There's this over here, too. These look like slots where either Honestly, it looks to me like where horses would be kept. There's long slots made of cement as a foundation. I imagine they would have had wooden walls. But I really don't know. That's just my guess. These box elders are Manitoba maples. 
have grown right into the foundation. But they're fast growing trees. Oh, there's there's an actual maple, uh, sugar maple here growing through too. Yeah, I wasn't joking when I said the trees could get big here. This is a silver maple, and uh, you can see just how big it is. There's another one right next to it. Look at that bad boy, uprooted and everything. Big old trees, guys, and home to many swan, as you saw earlier. I'll try and get a little bit closer to this guy. Oh, it looks like his wing is hurt. It's flopped down next to him. See that? He keeps moving it. All right, buddy. Look at the color of this water. This place really is nice. Wonder if there'll be any fish in this little part. It's not very deep at all, but it connects to the main channel out there. And I imagine some little perch would come in here. I don't see why not. There's a lot of gar, long nosed gar around here too. Oh, there's a shed or a building over on the other side. See it across there? It's like a square cement building. There are people here. Grass, I think. That's Stuff like that. If you're sitting at the table, it comes right to you. That's very socialized. <laughs> yes, well, I think it, it expects food. To be of course. Oh, sure. The raccoons here are the same. It gets to be a bit much, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. But. Is that raccoons here? Oh, so many. Really? So many. Oh, no predators. Nope. That's right. If you only have money, So what's your YouTube channel? Yeah, you folks have a great day. Nice talking to you. Stay safe. Thank you. You too. I'll, I'll take care of your duck. Okay. Ducky, you're a traitor. Yeah, he's a traitor. Wherever that looks like potential traitor. The traitor duck? <laughs> Oh, that's kind of cool. Just met a nice older couple. They're kayaking and picking up trash. So that's nice. And they brought a duck with them, as you saw. <laughs> He's just hanging out next to me. Zero quacks, you know? Zero quacks given right now. <laughs> oh, it's a good day. I'm happy I'm out here. <clears throat> nice little, little escape, little urban escape. I'm not going to give you anything, buddy. All I have is bread, and that's not going to be any good for you. No sandwich. I don't know if you like lunch meat. I don't think so. What kind of duck is this? What the duck? I think it's a blue-winged teal. What the duck? I left my gear all sitting here on the table while I took the camera and went into the woods and uh, was shooting, filming the, the ruins and stuff. And I had a half a sandwich and a baby bell left in my backpack. It is nowhere to be found now. So a raccoon came, they're, they're ridiculous here. I'm sure it was a raccoon came and took it out of my backpack. I left my backpack open, but if I would have closed it, maybe it would have just eaten through the side of it. I don't know. I'm starving. <laughs> I think I gotta go home. Gotta go home.